Good morning. My name is Kevin Johnson. This is my week six assignment uh, where we're going to be discussing who my hero is. Um, I guess we're going to get right into it. This is probably the most influential people in my life. This person is, is huge and, and I give everything to her. Um, it's, it's probably what everyone else is doing as well. It's going to be my mom, Lisa Johnson. Uh, she's the person that brought me into this world. She's the person that continues to work towards her goals, no matter what the obstacles she faces are. The person that proves through faith and determination that you can achieve anything that you that you want to in life, as long as you work towards it, give it all the effort that you can. Uh, she's she is the role model of my life and uh, something that I strive to be moving forward. So. Getting into things, I have three reasons why I admire my mother so much. Uh, the first one's going to be her bravery. At 18, she moved across the country. She began a life on her own, uh, moving from Baltimore, Maryland to Henry County, Georgia. Uh, everything changed for her at that point. She didn't know anyone here. Uh, the bravery that it took her to move across the nation is huge. I could not imagine doing that today. Um, so she moved to Georgia and she began working for Henry County 911 and that's where she met my father, a fireman that worked for Henry County as well. Um, so without that bravery to move, to make that change in her life as a young adult, um, I would not be here today. So I look at that bravery and I try to try to have that in my life as well. Our reason number two is her determination. Uh, one of her goals is when moving to Georgia was to become a nurse. So she began nursing school while she was pregnant with me. So she's pregnant. She's in nursing school, which is obviously very tough. And she has a full-time job working at 911. She was maxing out credit cards so that she could pay for my diapers when I arrived. Uh, but no matter that obstacle, she made it happen. Uh, she grew up raising uh, her younger sisters and now I was growing up um, in a poor household, but my mother's love and determination uh, blinded that, right? So I had no idea I was growing up poor because my mother provided everything that I ever needed. So she kept working. She was determined to graduate as a nurse and she did that. She graduated from Gordon State College with a full nursing degree and she is still a nurse to this day. Reason number three is her strength. So my final example of why my mom is my hero is the strength she shows every single day. Um, a few years ago, my mother was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Um, there wasn't many options uh, moving forward treatment wise. Uh, they had to go in and, and do a very high risk surgery that removed a large portion of her esophagus, about 60% of her esophagus and 70% of her stomach. They shifted her stomach upwards and uh, shortened her esophagus. This led to a, a change long-term about how she would be eating, how she would sleep at night. A lot of things changed for her after this surgery, but the main outcome was that she was cancer-free. So we were all very thankful for that, but her strength her resilience when recovering from this, she did not skip a beat. She kept everything going. Everyone uh, was scared to death in, in the room except for my mom. She knew that she was good. She knew within her faith, within her inner strength, that she was going to make it past this. And she did. She did. She continued to work hard. Um, and probably about two months after her surgery, she was promoted to the chief nursing officer over two major hospitals. That's as high as you can get as a nurse. And I believe she is the only one in the state of Georgia that is in charge of two hospitals through the Wellstar nursing system. So those are the three examples, determination, strength, and bravery. And those are the things that come to mind when you talk about heroes, right? So we're, you bring up Superman, Captain America, they are brave, they're determined, they're strong. And those are all exemplified through my mom, my hero, my role model. Uh, I couldn't be here without her. And I really hope that every single one of you have someone like that in your life. Uh, that's all I have for this speech. I hope you're all doing well. And I hope you all have a hero that is as great as mine. Thanks.